Hey guys, how's it going? I have another beginner-friendly money-making idea for you in today's video that I'm really excited to share. And as usual, I've tested this out myself to make sure that it's 100% legit before I recommend it to you on this channel. It's also 100% completely free to join and can be done no matter where in the world you're from or whatever skills you might have or lack. So if this is the kind of content that you're interested in, then make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell below because that's exactly the type of content that we create and continue to make for you here on Next Level Finance. With that said, let's go make some money! The first app that we'll be talking about today is called Folk. And if you don't already know, Fope is a photo selling app with a community of photographers and regular folks just like you and me who offer crowdsourced brand photographs. It receives millions of views each month and has built its reputation as a trusted source of high quality images for a couple of years now. In fact, they work with a lot of huge brands as you'll see here on their website. The best thing about Folk is that it has the potential to turn photos just sitting on your phone into profit. Another great thing about Folk is that there are multiple ways to make money. The first way would be as a seller, you can upload photos on your profile and wait for someone to buy them from you on the Folk marketplace. Each photo that you sell costs up to $10 and the seller and Folk each get 50% from that sale. So let's say you sell one photo at $10, you get $5 from that sale and Folk gets the other five. The second way to earn would be by joining missions. There are regular and premium missions which usually require specific products in photos and videos. The rewards for these missions range from $30 to $500 for regular missions and up to $1,000 for premium missions. However, in order for you to be able to participate in these premium missions, you'll first need to earn Folk Coins by watching video ads or maybe getting them from the Folk website. Which brings us to the third way that you can earn on this platform and it's by creating or curating albums wherein you can post photos of other Folk contributors. So basically, when someone purchases a photo from your album, even if you don't own the photos, you get a quarter dollar. I know that's not a lot, but I mean, guys, this is not really rocket science. Adding photos into your own album and just waiting for someone who's searching for that exact photo will pay you 25 cents. Not that bad if you ask me. To get started on Folk, you'll simply need to download the app, which is available for both iOS and Android, and then sign up for an account. It's free to do, super easy. You can actually do it right now. So a huge company that's similar to Folk is called Shutterstock and you've probably heard about it before. Since its inception, Shutterstock has claimed to have paid out $1 billion in total to all of its contributors. And the best thing about it is that you can actually sell the same photos on both Folk and Shutterstock, which means that you hit a larger audience and have more chances of making money on a single photo. Needless to say, you'll also need to register for an account on Shutterstock, which you can do so easily following the usual steps and verification process. I won't walk you through the steps anymore because I'm sure you've got that covered already. I just wanted you to note that you'll need to have a verified PayPal account to start accepting payments on both of these platforms. So if you don't already have one, I want to make sure that you take care of that right after watching this video. So now we've reached the part where if you feel like this isn't for you, then I'm here to reassure you that it is because I will teach you a way that you can do this without a creative eye, without any technical know-how, and even without a proper camera. And before I reveal this strategy to you, just a quick reminder that if you're enjoying the content so far, then please don't forget to show us some appreciation by hitting the like, share, subscribe, and notification buttons below. Alright, on to the next platform then. We'll be using a website where you'll be able to download high-res, high-quality stock photos for free and it's called burst.shopify.com. As you can see over here, the photos on this website are free to use and distribute personally and commercially so you don't have to worry about any copyright issues by doing this. 
They also organize the images into categories such as copy, home, fall, beauty, fitness, and a ton of other ones so it doesn't get easier than that. There is no catch. You don't even need to submit your credit card information. So go ahead and download the files that you think you can sell and make sure to choose high resolution. As a bonus, let me share the second free source with you because just like Burst, you can get high quality, high resolution stock images here for free. And that website is called pickwizard.com. Like I said before, this is beginner friendly and 100% legit. You don't need to take any of your own photos, but you can still make money as long as you're creative in terms of your sourcing. And of course, also in terms of tagging your photos so that people who are looking to buy them get to find your files more easily. Now that you have a strategy in place, I wanted to leave you with a few tips to improve your chances of making money selling stock photos online. Tip number one, upload a lot of photos, and I mean a lot, as many as you can in different categories, especially as you're starting out. Doing this will help you determine which types of photos sell better and also help maximize your earning potential. Tip number two, tag your photos correctly. You can research on marketing terms if you must, but make sure that you know the language that your target audience or customer uses to make your photos just that much easier to find. You can also do this by checking out top uploads on these same platforms and find out what keywords or tags the sellers are using. Replicate those and you might see an increase in your sales as well. Tip number three is to make sure that you upload high quality images that take commercial value into consideration. Remember that a lot of people who buy stock photos are either owners or representatives of businesses or companies and they need to use these materials to promote certain products or services. Uploading a high quality breathtaking image is ideal, but if it makes no sense in terms of marketing, then there may be no takers. Tip number four is to be patient. You may not make sales right away and that's okay. Just keep uploading and have fun. This is supposed to be a passive income source, not your 9 to 5. So success may not come quickly and that's fine. You can try out other making ideas on our channel as you wait for your work on this platform to come to fruition. I do hope that you got inspiration from this video and that it got you excited. It got your creative juices flowing. If it did, then please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell below. We would also love to hear from you in the comments section. Let us know what you think of this strategy and also share what kinds of content you would want to see next. As always, let me leave you with a reminder to get started on this right away because tomorrow you will only wish that you had started soon. Alrighty guys, that's it for today. Take care and I'll see you again on the next one.